The way we communicate now has evolved and so should email. Spike is like WhatsApp but for email. All your conversations are grouped by people and different emails with different subject lines appear just like that. You can also send voice notes just like in chat and you can send files as attachments and connect your cloud storage accounts to send files that are in the cloud. You can also see all your activity with one person in one place. So all the files that you've ever exchanged, all the emails, and if the other person has Spike, you can also do a voice or a video call. What's really super is the super search functionality. I can search just within attachments. And then once I get the results, I can filter it down by the person who sent it to me to arrive at that file really quick. You can also create notes and tasks collaboratively. And the other person does not even need to have Spike to be able to collaborate with you real time. I mean, if this app does not make you productive, I don't know what would. All right, coming to the next app, I tend to keep my phone on silent, so I don't like to be disturbed by too many notifications or messages, but some messages are important. And this app turns off my DND mode and brings that message to me. I can accurately program what should happen when a certain notification from a certain app comes. So if any of my notifications contains the word urgent or important, the app will turn off my DND mode and alert me. Another example, I keep getting these spammy messages around real estate or loan or health checkup. And so I have set up a rule in STFO that if such a message comes, just dismiss it for me automatically. There's also an explore tab where the developer has added some sample rules that you can just add and activate, or you can go ahead and create your own custom rule. And guys, before we move over to the next app, here's a fun fact. 90% of you that watch my videos are not even subscribed to me. And I can't even begin to explain how you subscribing supports the channel in so many ways. It would mean a lot to me if you could subscribe and hit that bell notification icon and tap on. Anyway, now let's move on. Next, we've seen minimal launchers in the past and this one, Minimalist Productivity Launcher is another one, but it's got a few extra tricks. First, you've got this phone dialer icon right outside, not a part of the apps, which makes it very handy. Even finding an app is super quick. You just swipe, you type, and then the app shows up based on what you searched for. A tap on the clock takes you to alarms and double tapping the screen locks your phone. You can also long press an app and rename it or hide it. And then to access hidden apps, just pinch out on the home screen and then unlock using your fingerprint to access them. And the look is pretty customizable. You can change the font size, the font type, the icon pack, and even the color of the background. Next up is a calendar widget app, but it's not your usual calendar widgets. It is the most simplest yet the most customizable calendar widget. Just look at the various ways I can set it up. First, you can obviously set it up to show all the calendars that you have synced on your phone. Next, you can decide to group events day-wise for a cleaner view. You have a toolbar here at the top, which shows you today's date. It allows you to add a new event. You can push sync and access to quick settings. Now, the ability to customize each and every aspect of this widget is crazy. I mean, you can change the size, the text color, the background color, the background shape, and so many things that you can literally have a new calendar widget every day. And hey, if you want your important tasks or events displayed even before you unlock your phone, get this next app called Lock Screen Calendar. You basically press the power key and it shows you the agenda for the day, the tasks that you have, and any events that are lined up. And I think the idea of just looking at your lock screen, have all your tasks, makes you productive automatically. To be able to add a task, just go into the app, click on add to do with obviously the date selected. You can pin a task if you'd like, and then you can categorize it in one of the categories that already exist. And think about it, how many times do you pick up your phone and try to unlock the screen to waste your time? And if you see your to do's right up front, it's gonna motivate you, at least it works for me. Next is a KW GT widget pack, which is like a hybrid of Android 12 widgets meeting with glass widgets or translucent widgets. So it's called glass 12 KW GT widgets. It's a set of 48 widgets for now, which of course the developer does aim to add more, but you can see how nicely it just picks up the colors from the wallpaper and stylizes the widgets for you. So you don't have to do anything and any widget you put is gonna look good. And again, it's got 48 of them right now. The developer will keep adding, but for less than a dollar, I think this is totally worth it. And yeah, just, just go ahead and get it. And this last one is one of my favorite games at the moment. It's called I Love Hue, and is a puzzle game where you have to put shades of colors in a natural order. Every time you complete it correct, you score hearts. You can progress through the game, uh, it gets more challenging, and every time you complete every level, you just score more hearts. 
And in the beginning, it all seems very easy and simple, but it does get difficult. And that's where the challenge lies and it really excites you. Now, once you finish your 10 levels, you score enough hearts, you can go and unlock the next level and then the next and then the next. And they're like full series. And there's so many of these that you can actually spend weeks just finishing the game. Actually, let me just show you how the next level, which is called Apprentice, looks. And it's got about 25 levels. And you can see that they're really different uh, from what you saw in the first, which is the beginner level. And yeah, things get difficult. It does take you more time, but that's the whole challenge part of this. And that's it, guys. Those were the seven apps for the month of August 2021. I hope you guys enjoyed watching the video. And if you did, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification icon. I'll see you guys in the next one.